We have major awesome updates for Leonardo AI. And so for today, we're going to go over four amazing new features and new updates that you'll definitely want to stick around for. These updates keep getting better and better. So if you don't have access to my Leonardo AI Mega Prompts database, you'll definitely want to make sure you do because I'm going to be adding a ton of new prompts, hundreds of them. The first update, and this is an exciting one, is called Describe with AI. Effortlessly create prompts from images with Leonardo AI describing exactly what it sees. Whether it's an uploaded, generated, or selected image, Describe with AI simplifies prompt creation ideal for identifying styles. So before we dive into this, how exactly does Describe with AI work? All you have to do is upload an image or just choose any image, whether it's a photo or an image you generated. And then from there, it can generate detailed descriptions. Combine it with Edit with AI to quickly refine and develop your concept. So if you haven't seen this video, on edit with AI I highly recommend you watch this one as well and that's why I love these updates today you can actually combine a lot of them together and now remember today we're sharing multiple new updates and features so make sure you stick around because you're not gonna want to miss any of these new updates let's head over to the ultimate Leonardo AI prompts database so in this mega Leonardo AI prompts database over here on the left hand side I have all of these amazing filtered views get access to this database plus thousands of prompts by clicking the links in the description. So what we're going to do is I'm going to head over here to some of my favorites. I already have my hand-picked selected favorites in this gallery favorite view. Let's go through a few of these and pick out an image that looks good to us, something that we may not know how to generate a specific prompt for. That's going to be so helpful when it comes to this describe command. Let's say for an example, I want to create an image like this, or I want to determine what prompt was able to create this image. If you have access to this database, you could actually actually download any image. Okay, so now it's downloaded. The next thing I'll do is now I'm over here in Leonardo AI. Now the cool thing about this in Leonardo is that this could be used, like I said earlier, from any of your AI generated image in addition to any image just period. So let's just go ahead and go to image generation just like this. Okay, and then here we are. Now, this is so easy to find. In order to find this, the first thing you need to do is over here on the right hand side, you see this little magic button. This is where all the magic literally happens from new random prompts, improve prompt, and then there is that edit with AI. Make sure you watch this video if you haven't yet. But for today, we're gonna select describe with AI. Upload an image and generate its description. Okay, beautiful. Now that it's selected, here we go. Now from here, this is where you have the option to select any of your prior uploads or any of your generations. But since I went ahead and then downloaded my image, here it is in my documents, I will now just upload my specific image, okay? It's thinking up here on the right hand side. Once it's done uploading, now look at this right here. Instantly, it provided me with the exact prompt. So let's just go ahead and see how good of a job it did. Let's test it out. I'll go over here and go to cinematic keynote because I think this is a cinematic style shot. Wide angle quality, okay. Now there is the prompt. Let's go ahead and now select generate. Okay. So while it's generating, let's test this out a little bit, okay. Here is the original prompt over here in my database. Do you see it right here? Wide angle minimalist photo of an astronaut in an icy shore. How close did Leonardo AI get to actually generating this sort of prompt? And now we're back over here. As it's still thinking, you could see up here at the top, this did do a pretty good job. I mean, if I'm looking at this prompt right here, I'm highlighting it, it did everything. Vast icy landscape, wide angle, etc. Okay, and then here it is, the final product. Oh, this is amazing. This did a phenomenal job. So what I'll also do is if I like this one, I can copy this prompt right here. You know, I'll come back into my Airtable database. And now what I can do is just, I can add this prompt. And now I'm also gonna bring in these three most recent images that Leonardo AI just generated for me. Okay, I have a Kino and then my preset is gonna be cinematic. Okay, and then there you have it. And I think this is one of my new favorites. So I have favorites selected. Beautiful, there it is. Now this image is added into my Leonardo AI database. Okay, now let's move on to the next amazing update. And this one is also very exciting. It's something that has been much needed ever since Leonardo AI's new interface came out. And this is called multi-style reference. You are now able to add multiple style images to style reference in V2. It will allow you to add up to four style reference images. You're also able to adjust 
sliders on individual images to direct the amount of influence each style has over the final image output. Okay, now that is something much needed. Let's see how this works in real time. Okay, so when I first tried this the first time, look at what an amazing job this one did right here. Now you can see right here, in my image guidance with my information, I used three style references all at ultra right here. And this is gonna be the final result I got. This did an amazing job, okay? Now let's go back over here to a few more of these examples and then you could also see some of these. Here is another one, same sort of style. So how exactly did we do this? Let's go back to image generation, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna come back over here into my mega database and let's find an image that we need to get a prompt for. Look at these images right here. Just by looking at these, I honestly wouldn't know what sort of prompt I would need right off my head. So what we're gonna do is, you can see how simple a prompt is, okay? We'll just copy that prompt. But the most important thing is, is now we need to use these images as a style reference point. So I'll open this one up and I'll go to the next one and I will download this image because I am going to use it in my style reference. Okay, so now we're back over here into Leonardo AI. I pasted my prompt in. Now, when you're using these style reference images, the prompt doesn't even really need to be that detailed because you're gonna make all the work happen with the images that you're using. So with that said, let's go ahead and open up this box right here, image guidance, go to view more. And now we're gonna select style reference hit confirm. Now let's upload the image that we just downloaded. I am just simply dragging it over here into this box. It is now in here. There she is. Let's add two more of these, okay? Let's open this back up again. We're gonna select style reference. Remember, we could add multiple ones now. Let's go ahead and add this cool looking Leonardo AI logo, okay? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the strengths a little bit, but first let's go ahead and add one more style reference just to see what we can get. Let's try something completely different. With that cinematic astronaut as you're looking at these images if i select like this first one and i want to make my strength high or even ultra notice this though as i'm changing my strength it's actually changing it to all three images so it's kind of pointless in that way but that's okay because you're not using that method when you use more than one you're going to hit this drop down arrow and now what you have to do is adjust the image influence with this toggle slider okay you'll have to do it for each image in individually, that way you can allow Leonardo to know which image has the most importance. I want it to look more closely to this, so I'm going to go ahead and make this 0.82, okay? And then here's this next one. I'm going to bring this one a 0.46, and now with the cinematic one, let's bring this a little bit lower, and let's just see what sort of image that we can get, okay? Now, let's do one more thing. I'm going to open this back up. And I'm going to select character reference now because I want to select this image again because I do want the same face. So if there is my character reference, I'll move this one to high. So I'm using it in two ways. I'm using it in character reference so I get the same woman's face, but also as a style reference so I can get that same similar style. I have four in here. I had to remove some portion of my prompt because it was saying there were some keywords that weren't appropriate. So I removed Instagram model. It then allowed me to generate these images. Now I'll do this one more time and I'll remove the character reference one and let's do generate again. So while this is thinking, what we're going to do one more time is come back to this and then adjust our toggle strengths a little bit differently. We'll make the astronaut one, the cinematic one, a lot more higher just so I can show you the difference in images that we're going to get. Okay. So the first row was done and look at what an amazing job this did. This did a phenomenal job. Now let's go ahead and now go to this second row. This is fantastic. So two out of the three are amazing. I like this, but again, her hands are a little bit too big. But for this image right here, this did a phenomenal job. Let's go ahead and download this image. Now, the next thing we'll do is now let's change it up. And now let's make this a lot higher in strength, okay? The cinematic one. And I'm going to bring this one now down much lower. And I'll bring this one about the same. Okay, now we're going to get a similar image, but it's going to have more strength on this cinematic style one of that astronaut. Okay, amazing. Now we're back. Now look at this. Here's the next image I generated. Now remember, I made this one a little bit different. I chose the astronaut cinematic wide angle one as a stronger style reference, and then we were able to get this image right here. But now on this one, this one is really fantastic because on this image right here, you could see that I used three style references, but the one that I brought almost all the way to the end as far as strength was that astronaut one, and I moved the other ones a little bit lower. So depending on the toggle strength is gonna play a very important key role, but this is amazing how we can now use up to four. Okay, now let's go ahead 
ahead and move on to the next update. This is called Token Rollover. Available on premium plans, unused tokens will now accumulate into a rollover bank. So you can save up to three months worth of the plan's limit. And this is gonna be extremely helpful for your token rollover, especially if you don't use them all every single month. Okay, and now finally, let's move on to one of my favorite things, and that's elements. Okay, so the first one I wanna talk about is pretty cool. It's called Rainbow Core. So what I'll first do is I'll show you the difference between the original image and now the new image when I use this element, okay? So here's this prompt right here. This is pretty amazing. This is gonna be a Fortnite style prompt. So here's the image right here. This was created just using the generic prompt and then albedo base and then 3D render. I didn't use any elements on this one. Okay, but however, check out the final result I got with the same exact prompt, but then when I used rainbow core as my new element, these images look amazing. So anytime I use an element in this database, I'll put the strength and this one is a 0.80, okay? But then I wanna come over here and I wanna show you a very important detail, okay? Remember, here's this one with the strength at 0.80, but now watch this. Now when I use rainbow core, okay, and I made my strength much lower. So you can see the strength on this one is gonna be a minus four zero. Still, same prompt, everything is the exact same, but now that my element has been brought down as far as the strength, look at these images right here. Fantastic job. So you still get those rainbow core elements. We're getting those rainbow colors, very amazing, even with the neon glow, but it's dialed down a little bit. If I go back to the original, you could look at the differences and they're big, okay? This first one, a lot more rainbow involved, that's because there's a higher strength. Okay, so now let's move on to the next one. And this next one is pretty cool. This is gonna be woodcut illustration. Again, here is my original image, okay? My original image of the prompt I used, when I used the new element, woodcut illustration, now look at what I get. This is pretty fantastic, okay? Same exact prompt, but now I get this simply by using just that new element. So the next one is Cosmic Retro. Here is the original image right here, pretty amazing. But now, the new image is gonna look like this one right here. Pretty amazing as well. Again, same prompt, but just using that simple element completely changes things up. And then for the next one, here is the original image right here, okay? A molten glass of a mysterious owl. This next next element is called glitch art. So same prompt, but now using the glitch art element, look at that right there. Look how amazing of a job this did. Now remember, everything is the same. I'm just using a element now. Okay, so now for the next one, and this might be one of my new favorites. This one is called white ethereal. And here it is right here. Again, this is the original image. You already saw it earlier today with this astronaut on the icy shore. Now let me scroll down and show you what it looks like with this element. Look at this right here. Look at what an amazing job this did simply by using that element. And this did a phenomenal job. Same prompt, but now it's gonna look completely different like this. Okay, and here is the next one. This is also one of my favorites. This is gonna be called Modern Analog Photography. Okay, here is the original images right here. But what does it look like when I use the new element? Here it is right here. Look how amazing these images look. A fantastic job. It's a modern vibe, but you could tell it was taken with an analog sort of camera. Okay, so for the next one, the next element is Solar Punk. Here is the original image and the original prompt I used. You could take a quick look at them, notice these. But when I use Solar Punk, how will that look? Okay, and then here it is, Solar Punk. Look at this right here. You could tell there definitely are similarities between the original images and now with these images, Solar Punk, same concept, Butterflies are still there, but now you're getting that solar punk type vibe. Okay, so now for the next one. This is where I spent a little bit more time with some key details. This one is called abstract line art. Okay, here are the original images right here. Okay, basic medieval times, but then I want you to notice the difference, okay? This is the first time I used it. Now, this is pretty cool. There's a little bit of a difference, but you might think to yourself, okay, it doesn't really look like abstract art. Again, that's because notice the fine tune model and the alchemy preset. Here is the element. I chose cinematic. But then when I use everything the same, but I changed up my alchemy preset to now illustration, there's the element abstract line art. Now look at this right here. That's exactly what I was wanting. Now we're going to stay on the same sort of image and now go on to the next element. And this one's called medieval illustrations. So if I X out of this, remember, these are the original images right here. But now what is it going to look like? with the new one, Medieval Illustrations. Now it is definitely that, okay? It definitely is a Medieval Illustration. These all 
look phenomenal. So there you have it. There are some of the newest elements and they've all done a great job. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below which one has been most helpful for you. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Jordan.